So my first semester that I taught um, the course, um, I assumed just because of the fact that obviously you're teaching at the college level, you assume that people have the skills and the strategies that they need coming in. Um, and I had a lot of freshmen in the course. And so it was a little bit of a different experience for me. And so, you know, I taught and, you know, the semester was going, I was keeping up with it, got to the end of the semester and I was really discouraged by um, a couple students that I really felt had just kind of given up. Um, kind of three-quarters of the way through the semester and they were so close to even just passing and they just didn't put the effort in and I think it was just they felt it was almost like a lost cause and there were other students that I knew could have done better that were capable of more um, but they just really didn't seem to put anything into it didn't feel like they needed to do a lot and others that um, to me, it just seemed like they just almost seemed confused as to how to put the effort in. They, could, they had the effort there, but they just re weren't really sure where to focus their time, their, um, all of their energy, and what they were doing in the course. So going into my next semester, after um, having realized that there was a problem, perhaps in the way that I was teaching or in the way that I was being perceived, um, thinking about different strategies that I might be able to use to help students really kind of take advantage of what was being offered to them, kind of taking um, own, their own personal responsibility for the course. Um, I built in um, a meeting with the professor that would occur about halfway through the semester, so either right before or right after midterms, um, which would allow me to be able to see enough of their work through the semester to kind of get a feel for how they did things, what their pattern of turning things in was, um, kind of their average grade, but then also still left enough time that something could still be done to salvage their grade before the end of the semester, um, when usually the last week of classes is when everybody is looking for all that extra credit or all the things, but usually that's too late at that point. And so trying to find something midway for them to be able to use those tools, use the things that they know, or maybe things that they haven't learned but should have learned at this point, um, and being able to give them the ability to turn that grade around and really be focused for the remainder of the semester. So the first semester that I tried um, having a meeting with the professor, um, I got a lot of really good feedback from the students because of the fact that I had students coming in that were either not pulling a passing grade or were very close to it, um, but they didn't really understand good time management skills. No one had really ever sat down with them and taught them how to do that. Nobody had really explained to them um, when different assignments are worth different amounts how you should spend all that time and effort probably, if you can only do one assignment, you should probably focus on the one that's worth more versus the one that's really not worth so much. And you should focus on the assignment that is due um, as an actual assignment in the class versus doing the extra credit. When I sit down with students, um, I have a spreadsheet open where it shows all of their grades that they've earned so far in the semester. And then also has the remaining assignments um, open so that we can plug in grades and see, okay, if you do this well on this assignment or if you get this grade on that assignment, um, it allows them to see what their grade could be, which I find to be very motivating for them um, because a lot of times halfway through the semester, students kind of think, well, that's it, I've kind of blown my grade at this point, but don't see what they could still do. And I find that that's very motivating for them um, to be able to take charge and take responsibility for themselves um, for their own grade. Um, things. So just sitting down and really working with students, um, I think really allowed them to be able to take charge themselves. And I got a lot of really good feedback from that because there were students that weren't doing so well at the beginning of the semester and I think we're probably going to just kind of chuck it up as a lost cause that, well, I'm just not going to do well in this class. That actually turned out by the time we got to the end of the semester, really were able to do quite well because of the fact that they were able to take the tools and things that they already had. They just weren't really sure how to use um, and just weren't really sure how to use it in my particular course. And I remember one student in particular who, um, and so she never really believed in herself. And, um, you know, we spent some time in my office for the Meet the Professor, and she actually came back a couple times after that. It broke the ice where she felt comfortable coming in to talk with me and to meet with me. And she was really excited when she saw that she didn't have to have an F or a D 
that it was possible for her to achieve something. And um, it was really exciting the end of the semester. She did really, really well. Um, you know, it wasn't something necessarily that, you know, would have been put her on the dean's list or anything like that. But for her, it was really good. And I remember the last time I saw her before she walked out of the classroom and telling her how proud I was of her. And I wish you could have seen the look on her face. And she said, well, I learned that I could do it in this class. And that means I can do it in other classes, too. And that's been the encouraging thing for me is to get the feedback from the students, not just at the end of the semester, but even them coming and stopping by my office um, semesters after that and saying, I learned from your class. I now create my own spreadsheet and will look at what I can do and how I can, you know, get the best grade in that class that I don't, you know, if I've missed one assignment, it's not the end of the world. It's, you know, I, I can take charge and responsibility for what I do. And that's been really, really rewarding to hear that.